It's Christmas time here on Anarchy Escape. Santa, get the out of the way. All right, dude, you're just gonna flex your height on me? I get it. Anarchy Escape has released a huge Christmas event. Tons of rewards, including a Santa setup that will have a huge drop rate boost, an event boss, new monsters to fight, a quest, and much more. We've even got some Christmas presents in our inventory that we will open up a little bit later. Now before we get into all this good stuff, I do have a giveaway. First of all, when you make an account here on Anarchy Escape for the first time, make sure you use my referral. Just type in V-I-H-T-I-C. We will both get some juicy rewards, so it's definitely worth it. And you can also take a look at this nice scythe I got on me. This is actually my own custom weapon. Look at that, Vidic Scythe. When you get a custom weapon here on Anarchy Escape, it's immediately OP, and you can also choose the colors for it. And that is the giveaway. You're going to get your own custom weapon. It'll have your name on it and everything. You get to choose the colors. You get to choose what type of weapon it is. One winner, all you got to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Anarchy Escape in-game name down below. All right, so let's get into it. There is a ton of stuff to check out. First of all, let's get a little friend to follow us around. We can name him. Oh my god. You done- what? So this little guy is actually one of the rewards you can get. Ultimate Freeze Imp. He might look little, but he actually provides a 150% drop rate increase. Ugh, I can't name him Jimmy. How about Jimmy 2.0? Fuck. Jim. Me. <laughs> there you go. That works. So like I said, there are a few different ways to kill tokens, including a boss and some NPCs that you can kill, but I highly recommend doing the Christmas quest first. It's really easy, and you get the Santa Claus outfit, which gives you a drop rate increase, and also increases the amount of Christmas tokens you get from doing activities for the event, which is the main currency. So, talk to Santa Claus right over here on the shore. He's a pretty big boy, and you're going to want to travel to the fun snowland. You can also do a colon colon Christmas. And look at this, so cozy. We got a nice little feast right there with all the food getting cold. Oh wait. Oh, I won't let that happen. Oh, I could take food from it. Let's take one of everything. Thank you very much. And we'll uh, we'll take a few wines. How about that? All right, so we are ready to help Santa. Just go ahead and talk to him and let him know you'll help him out. And you're going to want to go ahead and talk to an elf right over here. So many elves. Yes, yes, yes. I can't speak with you. You already are, you idiot. So I'm just bossing this bitch around telling her to get back to work. Thousands of sweatshop elves? Yes. Christmas doesn't care about your humanity. Now the elves aren't going to be much help, so you come over here to the north and you're going to talk to Jack Frost, who looks like a weeb. And now we have made our trans- oh my god, that's a big imp. Damn. We have made our transformation into Jack Frost. Bandos boots? You pleb. So, go back and talk to Santa Claus, and you're going to roast out Santa really quick about overworking his elves. He used the poor old man excuse to get ready to get wrecked. Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ. What the f- Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. I did it. Thank you very much, Jack Frost. I appreciate you, ya boy. So there we go. Easy as that. Took like f two minutes, and now you got a Santa outfit that actually has a drop rate boost increase. Whenever you do anything for the event, make sure you got this outfit on, because not only does it have a drop rate increase, but it also increases the amount of tokens you get. Now, we might as well also sport the Christmas quickfire for the full immersion. But let's head back over here to the Christmas area and I'll show you how else you can get yourself some tokens. So as you can see over here, Santa has set up a little personal hell for some of these ice elementals and ice demons where they'll just repeatedly be killed over and over. You can get tokens from killing these guys. Make sure you got your Santa outfit on because you'll get double tokens. Now we got a ton of them to spend right here. I'll show you where to do that in just a second. Let's, let's kill a couple of these guys. Now how much did we get for that kill? We got about 1,091. Not bad. You also, seem, seems like you also get a lot of charms from these guys. Now what's up with this big boy ice demon over here? What's up? How's it going, buddy? I want to specifically attack that one. The big dog. Might as well put our a little personal scythe to some use. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a lot of tokens from him. We got like 18k from the big boy. But, I think the small ones have more chances at rarer drops. You can get, you can get Kyrie's Christmas Longsword, you can get Santa's Ball Sack. And then I think it's a smaller chance of getting a bunch more tokens. So if you just want to grind out a bunch of tokens, maybe kill the big boys. But the little guys are going to be a bit easier, and they do have a chance to drop some extra stuff. 
Oh, we got the sack. My RNG has been insane recently, guys. I swear. Every time I do any kind of PVMing, I've just been getting dropped so quick. And that's not that. I mean, my drop rate's better, but it probably is still like a one out of a hundred. I'm thinking. I don't know, but I got Santa's sack lugged it over my shoulder. We've also got some Yetis over here, but do they drop Christmas tokens? What's up with these guys? Can we smack them with Santa's sack? No, sadly not. All right, we're gonna. Have to... Oh, this one's protecting his boy. He saw me attack his friend. All right, dude. You don't want the smoke? Okay, so I'm not sure if these ones actually drop Christmas tokens, but you can kill them if you want. Jimmy, get the fuck over here. That's not your father. Oh, they're aggressive. Okay, aggressive. So aggressive for a little bitch. So right over here by the Christmas tree, you've actually got the Christmas store. Just trade this interesting looking fellow right here. Now, obviously, one of the main things you're going to want to get for good rewards is the Christmas present. This is how you can get some of the OP stuff like the pet, the uh, Christmas quick fire and some more stuff. Which, by the way, just to remind you, the pet has a 150% drop rate increase. Insane. You can also get Kyrie's Christmas Longsword, which you might as well buy. Let's see. And then besides that, a bunch of cosmetics and stuff. Buy one of those, one of those. What's this Christmas snow globe do, though? Oh, <laughs> it gives us snow. I thought I was just gonna... I thought it just popped up with this thing. Here, let's try out this Kyrie's Christmas Longsword. Let's see how good this thing is. This might be a really good weapon to grind out for if you're new to the server. Just get a million of the tokens, and you get this bad boy. You can also just kill these guys. You'll probably get it relatively quickly. I mean, it's kind of rare, but if you got the Santa outfit on for the increased drop rate, you should be able to get one after uh, not too long. So this weapon's all right. It is a little slow, but it's definitely hitting pretty well. It would uh, definitely be a good weapon to get early on, but it might be a better idea to get one of these Christmas presents, because then you can get stronger weapons like the quick fire from it. Oh, look at that. Dude, what is going on? What is happening? I don't understand how I'm so lucky recently. I think what's going on is all my RNG is just squeezing out before the new year. I got a, I got a lot left over. Now, if you want to head over back to the original quest area, just come up here to the west. You can enter the Christmas cup board. You can actually pickpocket these elves too. Get some random stuff. I'm wondering if it gives us any Christmas tokens. Doesn't look like it, but we did get some monies and stuff. You have freed our fellow elf people. We are forever grateful to you. That's right. You were being, you were being a bitch before. And look who saved your ass. Icy Demon has spawned, guys. Let's get our asses over there. Icy Demon? Is this him? Wait. Wait a minute. Are these the Icy Demons that spawn every 50 minutes? Ah, okay. So they actually buffed it. Like I said before, it was a 50 minute timer between each of the big boy spawns. But now, they spawn a lot quicker. So you don't gotta wait a long time to get that big, like, 20, 30k token boost let's see let's see how long it takes for another big boy to spawn there he is okay so you can just grind out these ones actually they obviously got a little bit more hp but they will give you a bunch more tokens all right let's upgrade our outfit here there we go now we're gonna open up some christmas presents we've got almost nine mil more christmas tokens so we might as well buy all that we can get let's see here give me your presents appreciate you all right we got 13 of these in total let's see what we can get Oh! Oh, okay, I see. So, you can't open your presents until Christmas. It's all making sense now. So, the idea is to collect all the presents that you can until Christmas Day, and then you open them then. Dude, come on. I'm trying to f make a video here. <laughs> I like how these guys are aggressive, but the big-ass ice demons aren't. All right. Now, a couple of the rewards that you can get from these presents, like I said before, the Christmas Quickfire we're using, which is a really OP crossbow, and little Jimmy. Well, he's not really Jimmy, but he's the little ice ice imp, ice demon imp, and he gives you a 150% drop rate increase, so these are really good to save up. You could end up getting a really OP weapon and a really OP pet with the drop rate increase right off the bat. Oh, she's still here. <laughs> Alright, guys. We pretty much checked out everything that there is to see. The event shouldn't be too confusing, especially if you made it this far in the video. You now have all the knowledge you need to finish the quest, get your Santa outfit with the drop rate increase, and start getting some rewards. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I highly recommend checking out Anarchy Scape, and if you like it, I got a bunch of other videos here as well. Just search them up on my channel. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. And have a nice day, and enjoy your Cribmas.